whole band phase and pick phase goes by and we don't see a Syndra. This has definitely been a little yeah. bit different, but the Cassiopeia into Nuke Ducks LeBlanc. Mysterious Monk. aggression. Will Joko go all in for the dive? Also, he waits that, that flash is the wall. Up, by the way. That oh flash, that's just a spectator bar. It was just a bait. Joko getting turned back around by Llama Bear, and that's going to be first blood to Jisoo. Pays off in the end. I they aren't having any of it. Llama Bear's everywhere right now. Ash Arrow comes on in. They find Vander, and that shield doesn't look too unbreakable. They're going to knock him up and pinball him See? away as Yuki claims the kill. That's why I love Ash. Like, things like this. Obviously, had he jumped forward, he might have died to the four members. Oh, oh no! that was a mistake, my friend. Yes. Behind, they're not getting big objectives or gold leads. When you didn't play the other bottom teams, you gotta really show something. Let's see top lane now, Llama Bear's here. Kabashar want to take the 1v1, but he has to flash the wall, and Jisoo goes to charging with Llama Bear right behind him. They get the kickback away from the tower, and it looks like they're gonna rock the croc. Jisoo gets the kill credit. Nuke Duck going back in right now, but he's jumped into two. The chains are on. Sonic Wave is not gonna connect, and Nuke Duck will finish off the charge. Jisoo following through, but Joko is there. Taste his fear, isolation damage, and that's a double kill for Nuke Duck. Nuke Duck getting some early kills. We saw the same last. Not yeah, might be more. Baron, that's risky though. Yeah, it is. Jisoo's at half his health bar, but look at how fast they're churning through this Baron, and in comes Vitality. Joko around the backside. Can they spot him? Can they stop him? This is gonna be messy. It comes Llama Bear. The spike goes down. It's stolen away by Joko, and now it's time to clean up. It looks like Mysterious Monkeys, they looked like they were getting the bad end of that one, and it is oh so true. Steelback comes in for some cleanup, and with the help of Cabo Shard and Nuke Dog, Jisoo is going absolutely nowhere. Big swing for Vitality there. I guess if you can't action, I want to see some fast plays. Well, then the Mysterious Monkeys and the Expendables are both very, very good for you. They'll always deliver, that's for sure. If we expect insane acting or great macro, well, well then this is not for you. Uh, loses his mount, loses his life. It's Cabo Shard coming up with a second kill for him in the game. We're 26 this minutes. This is where some of Vitaly's old names can start to shine. Now the Asher comes out with the steal back. He's got a QSS for that one. And Jisoo goes on in, but he's knocked up by the Brahm ultimate. Cabo Shard looking to come around the side. How long can Jisoo tank this up? It looks like a while, but Nuketuck looking for the deletion. Trying to find Dreams It's not going to be enough. They get a big stun proc, but Nuketuck takes out Dreams. And now they're looking for the tower down mid. It's only 28 minutes, but they want to break this base. Once again, Vitality getting that Baron is now giving them massive The Kosku, oh, it's Cabo Shark coming in. Steel back able to clean up two off the back. That's a quick double kill. And the base is wide on open. Make that a triple, 28 and a half, and we got inhibitors. Well, they might be going for more here, Pyre, because you got quite some time on Kosku, Yuki, Jisoo, and Vitality going straight for Nexus. You don't think about death timers being this long at this point in the game, but when you just get the kill right before you break into the base, this might be all she wrote, Vitality. They have had a big old drought here in the ULCS, but that ends right here, right now, in under 30 minutes. Down goes the Nexus, and they are 1-0 up. What a weird game.